Hi everyone, Andrew here. Welcome back to another RTG tutorial. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the custom world pivot. Yeah. Um, and let me just show you um, how this pivot is useful. So basically, the custom world pivot allows us to specify a fixed position in the world where the pivot sits, right, uh, for, for a gizmo. So let me show you uh, an example of where this might be useful. Uh, I'm going to switch to play mode. And let's just assume that you're working on a scene with a bunch of spaceships and you want to just change the position of these spaceships so that, you know, they orbit around this uh, planet. This could be like a, like a planet, right? Uh, now, normally, um, how you do that is you would just, you know, uh, rotate the spaceships and then change the position to something that, you know, just suits your needs. But as you can see, you have to... Uh, switch between uh, the move gizmo and the rotation gizmo and the results are not actually that great and it takes a lot of time to actually be able to you know make sure that these spaceships actually uh, you know are arranged properly and the custom world pivot actually allows you to rotate these spaceships around this uh, planet object uh, easily so uh, I'm gonna switch to my script object to my uh, to my script here, and it, the code for this is actually really simple. What we need to do is we need to find a reference to our uh, sphere, yeah. So this one right here, um, and then what we need to do is we need to instruct the rotation gizmo. We're using the rotation gizmo in this case um, because the you know it, it's probably the, uh, the the gizmo for which pivot points, custom pivot points, make more the, the most sense. Uh, scale the scale gizmo is actually uh, is also uh, another good example, but we're using the rotation gizmo in this case. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to call the set custom world pivot uh, uh, function, and the the custom world pivot is in this case the position of the sphere object. So when we actually select these spaceships and we rotate them we actually rotate them around the center of the uh, of the sphere, right? And then finally, what we need to do is we need to call set transfer pivot, and we need to specify the custom world pivot um, um, value right here. Okay, so now let's switch to uh, play mode. And uh, I'm gonna select the sphere object, and I'm gonna switch to uh, the rotation sphere, right? Now the rotation sphere, because I have the sphere object selected, the rotation sphere is sitting on the sphere, which makes sense. Now normally, if we didn't use the world, uh, the custom world pivot, when I click on a spaceship, the rotation the, the rotation gizmo the, the rotation gizmo should actually change its position to sit on top of the spaceship. Yeah. However, right now, as you can see, I'm clicking on a spaceship and nothing happens. The, the, the gizmo stays in the same position. This is because when you specify a custom world pivot, the gizmo will sit in that position yeah, that we specified. Because here we specified uh, the center of the, the position of the sphere, the gizmo will sit at the center of the sphere no matter what we select. Right? So now let's just see how, can, uh, how uh, we can actually modify the position and rotation of these uh, spaceships without having to, you know, uh, switch between rotation and move gizmo and so on. So I'm going to select this. Uh, I'm going to select both spaceships. Yeah. At this point, both spaceships are selected. We can see the, the rotation gizmo sitting at the center of the sphere. And now what we can do is we can just rotate the gizmo like this. Yeah. And we can see that the spaceships, uh, they, you know, they orbit the uh, the sphere really nicely. And we can select only one of them. Yeah. So if, the, if you are working on some sort of like a cinematic or a sequence or something like that, uh, this would be actually really cool. And there you go. You can you can position these really easily like this. I'm gonna select the other one and I'm gonna play around with it too. And of course, if you wanna increase the, like the the radius, the distance between the um, uh, the spaceships and the uh, and the sphere you can switch to the move gizmo in that case activate local transform space and just move these away from the spaceship and then um, activate the rotation gizmo again and and start rotating these uh, these babies again right so there you go yeah so this is uh, a situation where the custom world pivot actually um, can prove to be, you know, really, really useful. 
right? And uh, let's actually see if this will work in the same scenario. It should also work with the uh, scale gizmo. So let's say object scale gizmo set custom world pivot. We're gonna use the same pivot, yeah, the position of the sphere, and we're gonna specify the custom world pivot. So let's see how that works. I'm gonna press R. Yeah, as you can see, I've activated the scale gizmo and because we specified a custom world pivot, again, uh, the, 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 the gizmo will sit on the pivot. Yeah, and then if I, oh, sorry, I have the, I have the sphere selected, I, I'm done. I'm just gonna select these two spaceships. Yeah, and you can see that the spaceships are scaled from the custom world pivot like this. Yeah, and then I can rotate them and then scale them again if I wish, yeah? Something like this. All right, yeah, that, that's it from the custom, for the custom world pivot. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about the object center pivot, which I'm not a huge fan of because I don't think it's uh, useful in that many situations. It's there, you can use it, and I'm gonna show you um, what it does. Um, but just bear in mind that it's probably, like the most important pivot points have already been covered, yeah? All right. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.